Hey folks, so uh, I went on another weird little tangent in Minecraft for the first time in a while, and uh, this little setup here um, does time division multiplexing. So basically what it's doing is it's measuring the light, this little sensor here, and it's outputting it onto these two separate displays. Uh, with the tens digit on one display and the one di uh, ones digit on another display. And the way it's set up, it only uses one data line. Uh, you know, obviously it gets split to go into each uh, separate display, but there's one data line coming out of the computer, and the data right here is the same as the data right here at all times. Um, so just a bit of background, I guess. Like, I'm not sure how useful this kind of thing would be in, you know, practical terms within Feed the Beast or, you know, whatever server thingy you got going on. Um, but in real life, this is, uh, it's used a lot. If you ever see like these kinds of displays, like on a digital clock or something like that, it, it's only ever displaying one digit at a time, and it just cycles through them fast enough that you can't, your eyes can't actually tell the difference. And by doing that, they get to save a lot on wiring, basically. So they just have the data lines and some enable pins. Instead of having, you know, an entire separate uh, set of data that would have to go all the way around somehow to get to here. And, you know, on an infinite flat plane, it's pretty easy to, you know, cram in an extra data line if you really want to. Um, but if you're working on, you know, a PCB that's got to fit in, you know, a certain size enclosure or whatever, you got to kind of, you know, cut some corners like this. So basically what's happening is, uh, I'm going to go over what this computer is doing later, but in, uh, in the broadest possible terms, it's taking uh, an analog that is uh, 0 through 15 input from this uh, red power, or no, uh, what are they going to call it this time? It's Project Red um, solar sensor. And then it outputs a code that uh, draws a number on the 7 second display. And um, you can look at some other videos. <clears throat> Um, that I've done that kind of explain how that works, but basically uh, we go over here, like each color in the bundled output um, in the bundled cable controls one of the segments of the display. So like by enabling or removing different um, parts of the bundled input, you can draw different numbers or, you know, letters if you're really creative. Um, and then I'm also using uh, the gray and black uh, bundled cables to uh, work as my enable pins, basically. Um, and that has the side effect of drawing the decimal points on there, which aren't, you know, ideally I would have, you know, a separate line that would just be you know, enable one and enable two. Um, but that's where we are. So anyway, so the data line comes out of the computer with its uh, encoded thing all ready to go. Then it goes into one of these things, which is a bus transceiver. And basically, I'm just using it as an enable. So when this line is high, it lets data go through this way. And when it's low, it doesn't. And then over here on the other one, um, if gray is high, it lets the bus go through, and uh, if it's low, then it stops it and nothing gets displayed. So basically, um, when we go into the program I wrote, what's happening is, uh, I think I said it's every fifth of a second, it swaps both which uh, enable pin is on and also which digit it's sending out of the data bus. So in, right now I have it just printing out the, um, the digits that it's displaying. So if we go in here, 
um, to decode, uh, first off, I just have a table that is uh, just in order all of the values for the seven second display. Um, there's a little bit of wonkiness since um, for whatever reason, Lua starts counting at one, which is, um, you know, it, most of the time I don't think it would really have much of an effect, but here it makes it a little awkward because this is supposed to be zero here, but instead it's element one. Um, I also have a couple other variables. I got a state variable, which uh, indicates which, uh, which display is getting selected. Um, I have a little array that's for the digits, which is, so you have uh, one element is the uh, tens digit from the input, and the other element is the ones digit. Input is just something that's reading in from the, um, the solar thingy, solar sensor. And then over here, um, we're starting a timer within the operating system. So basically through this whole thing, I was trying to emulate uh, a lab I did for a class ages ago. And we were using uh, an interrupt service routine to do the timer. Uh, however, uh, Computercraft doesn't support ISRs at all. So I had to kind of jury rig it a little bit to um, get basically the same action, but it's a little less, uh, the finesse isn't quite there. Um, but basically what this does is in the background of the, you know, computer craft computer block, it'll start counting down um, a timer. And when it finishes the timer, it does a, um, an OS event that you can grab and then do stuff with it, basically. So I start off here by initializing the, um, the digits. So I grab in an input from the, uh, an analog input from the right side, which is where the solar sensor is, or the light sensor. And then uh, if input's greater than 10, then I set the 10 digits to one or else it's uh, set to zero. So if I really wanted to, I could have done a whole separate thing to, um, you know, separate out the tens digit and stuff. But since it's only ever going to be a one or a zero, like having a half digit like this is fine. Um, and then the ones digit is just uh, the input modulus 10. So it's divide by 10 and then whatever's left over is just stuck in ones. Um, so next we get into the uh, main loop. So it starts off every part of the loop by waiting for uh, an OS event. And basically what that means is anytime something happens to the uh, computer, you know, be it uh, like opening it to, you know, right clicking on it rather to look at the screen or, you know, typing on it or if redstone happens around it or um, if the timer runs out, basically. So for here, um, OS.pull event returns like a, a table full of a lot of data, but the first element is um, just like the name of the event. So first we check to see if the event name was redstone, and then if it was, then we uh, read in the input from the solar panel, and then I just have it printing for like a debug thing. Uh, and then it does the same thing where it digitizes the uh, input, or it, it separates out the digits, rather. Uh, so if we go down here, we can see uh, this is kind of where all the magic happens. This is where I'm trying to emulate an interrupt, basically. Um, so these, basically, if it's, it's just an if statement where if uh, state is true, then it writes the ten di tens digit, and if it's false, then it writes the ones digit. And then it um, changes the state, and it starts the timer again.
and then inside each of these if statements is a really messy function call that's um, basically it computes uh, it grabs like the seven segment decoder value from the decoder array up top that corresponds to uh, the selected digit plus one so that it's you know because the table starts at one for some reason um, and then it adds in it uses the colors.combine function to uh, add in the uh, enable pin that we're using basically so here it's um, it grabs the decoded value and then it also adds in uh, colors.black so that it's able to turn on the um, the enable pin for that digit and then it sends that all out the back as a bundled output and then down here it's the same thing except for it's uh, for the other digit basically it uses uh, the ones digit and it outputs on uh, the enables on gray so yeah so that's how this works uh, I'm not I like I'm super unsure of um, how this could be used in a practical application within Minecraft, but uh, just as a way to illustrate something that comes up in, oh God, saying in industry sounds so pretentious, but that's basically it. In in practical applications, this is kind of how you do things a lot of the time.